And we keep track of our cars as well. I think we got a special guest in studio this morning that can help us with that. Thank you, Josh. Well, the U of A's Cooperative Extension Service is hosting an event aimed at helping drivers learn ways to protect water while extending the life of their vehicles. And we have Jane, who is here to share more about that. Good morning, Jane. Hi, good morning. How are you? Thanks for waking up with us this morning. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit more about the work you do with storm water. Yeah, so my job as a stormwater educator is to educate residents on how when it rains, everything that's on our streets, on our sidewalks, driveways, all of that gets washed into a storm drain, which goes straight to a creek or stream and into our water system. Okay, well, what can people expect at the car clinic? The car clinic was a chance for us to educate residents on how stormwater might impact um, our waterways through that runoff on how our, our automobiles, how we maintenance them, how we care for them, um, and how that turns and how they can impact uh, everyday action. So what we did is we, we got into a, a work um, into a workshop and got people to open their hoods of their car and look wow. inside and see what they can do. Wow. Well, how does the car clinic connect with the work you do with the stormwater program? Right. So when it rains, um, you know, all that oil ends up uh, that might be leaking from your car. There's over 500,000 registered vehicles in Benton and wow. Washington counties alone. So if 1% of those have an oil leak, all that oil is ending up into our creeks and streams. Um, so we're looking at how to check your oil level, how to check your tire pressure to make sure you're, you're not spinning up too much tire tread awesome. because that ends up in our creeks and yes. streams. Okay. Yeah. Well, what do you think is the most interesting part about this partnership? Um, I love the fact that University Auto and Grease Pick have opened up the shop door and that you get to go inside the shop and actually kind of get the behind the scenes look and feel of what a maintenance shop looks like and and um, and get that hands on feeling. I think that's amazing. Well, what are you looking forward to most? I look forward to that like aha moment when people really get to like air up the, the tire on their car for the first time and, and, and feel the, how to do that and know that they take ownership of how to take care of their car. I think that's amazing. All right, do you mind telling our viewers when when and where is this clinic taking place? The next clinic will be October 12th at University Auto in Fayetteville, and it will be from noon till 2, and you can register on our website. Okay, so do you mind just going in a little bit deeper about some of the activities if that people will be at the clinic? Yeah, so people will be able to, um, you know, we start off, the Heltons have opened up their shop doors, um, and skilled technicians will be there to show you hands-on. You get to pass around parts of the car, feel it, um, look at uh, common mistakes like or issues that might happen, like belt that need to be replaced. Um, look at where leaks commonly occur on your car. Um, and then again, you get to open it up and ask questions. It's really interactive. Gives you a chance to, to ask questions with a skilled technician there. Okay, awesome. Well, do you guys have any up other upcoming events? That we're in deep in litter cleanup season. So okay. every spring and fall, we do litter cleanups. And fall, we're right in the middle of it. We've done quite a few, I think more than 10 already in the area. And we have eight more coming up. So in the month of October. Okay, well, awesome. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you, James. Thank well, you. Coming up in your morning sports report, our Pictro Nation team answers your football, soccer, and NIL questions.